Now, one activity that thousands of hearing youngsters have obviously enjoyed has been the World Wildlife Fund's Sounds Natural competition for schools. Now, this musical competition was open to all schools with prizes of musical instrument vouchers worth £6,000 for the winners. Well, the aim was simply to make school children more aware of their environment, its plants and its animals, with music to put the message across, and schools were invited to write their own musical offerings. Well, the competition was in three age groups. The two older groups, the 11 to 14 and 14 to 9 year olds, would be judged by Avril Dankworth, John Hosier from the Guildhall School of Music, and Steve Race. But the judges of the youngest group, the 7 to 11 year olds, will be you, the Pebble Mill viewers. And we're now at the stage when we need your help. So please stand by with paper and pencil, because in a few moments we'll be introducing two of the finalists. Now, we've already shortlisted the final 10 schools in this section who all win £200 for their excellent efforts. They are the Park Lane Primary School from Wembley in Middlesex, who wrote Whatever Happened to the Brontosaurus. The Padnarum School from Forfa in Angus, Scotland, who sang about the butterfly. Milton Junior School from Newport, Gwent in Wales, who wrote about the whale. Oddstock County Primary near Salisbury in Wiltshire for their song, The Leatherbacked Turtle. <coughs> Coldishall Junior School of Norwich, Norfolk, who chose the unusual Kukapo. And Moorlands Junior School, Bath, who sang an appeal called simply, Save the Animals. Well, many congratulations to them all. And I might add my congratulations, too, for all the work that uh, they put into actually presenting their music. All the music came in lovely files full of uh, pictures. And I know a lot of them um, involved school projects, which uh, created lots of lovely pictures and poems for the school walls. But now, over the next two days, you at home will meet the four school groups who came top of the finalists for you to select the school that will receive the very special prize of a signed, limited edition print of David Shepherd's beautiful Evening of the Elephant, something the school can take a real pride in. So, which of the songs you hear today and tomorrow do you feel is the most imaginative and original? Let's listen now to school number one. Now they are the St Mary's Bluecoat School from Bridge North in Shropshire, who've brought along an orchestra and a choir to sing Save the Otter, and the soloist is 10-year-old Bevan Middleton.
four finalists. As today is your last chance to get your choice into the post, we thought we'd give you a quick reminder of what the children produced. And the first song was Save the Otter. The poor otter. of Save the Otter there with words and melody written by the violin players of St Mary's Bluecoat School from Bridge North Shropshire. The next came the story of the butterfly. A busy, busy ant comes passing by and gently strokes his friend whose body secrets a drop of sweetness which the ant enjoys to the end. The The Large Blue Butterfly Flies, written by the children of Bishop Sutton Primary School near Bristol. A smaller group next, and this time their subject was the whale. <coughs> The Whale, with words and melody by children from Kelling County Primary School, Norfolk. Our final school comes from Nottinghamshire, and they sang the conservation song. Alexander County Primary School there of Newark, Nottinghamshire, and their conservation song. Remarkable efforts by all the youngsters. Which one did you find the most original and imaginative song? Send your choice, please, by Monday on a postcard to this address. Sounds natural. Pebble Mill is one. BBC Birmingham B57QQ. That's Sounds Natural. Pebble Mill at one. BBC Birmingham B57QQ. The winners and the winners of the two senior classes will be announced on the 20th.